Uh, we have done a project on design and development of water supply monitoring system. Now we will be showing you the setup. This is the drum which behaves as the supply tank and we have used a motor. This is 0.5 HP motor for drawing water from the drum and supplying it through the pipelines. These, this is the branches of the pipelines. The left side one is the branch one and the right side one is the branch two. This is the master node. The master node receives data from the slaves, slave nodes which are kept on either ends. Or this component is the Bluetooth module HC05. We have used a Arduino microcontroller and a GSM module and the other uh, Bluetooth module is to receive data from the other slaves. This is the TDS sensor which is uh, which measures the total dissolved solids in the liquid flowing through the pipes. This is the flow meters. These are the flow meters which are uh, used to measure the flow rate through the pipe. This is the slave node. Here too we have placed a flow meter to measure the flow rate and an Arduino microcontroller. We have also used the Bluetooth to communicate with the master node. Similarly, this is the other slave. Here the only extra component is the TDS sensor. This acts as the outlet and the entire setup is as shown. Now we will be showing the serial monitor of the Arduino. This is the Arduino serial monitor. First column is the flow meter reading from master node 1. Second column is from the slave node 1. Third column is from master node 2 and the fourth one is from slave node 2. The next two readings that you are seeing is the TDS readings and the last one is the timer which we have used to interface MATLAB. Now we will turn on the motor, see how the readings changes. Now the readings in all the branches have increased. Now we will be simulating leaks through the taps. Now we will be simulating leaks th uh, leak through branch 1. So branch 1 node, the water is leaking. Now we can see the difference in readings between the in the first two columns and after some time we will get the message in the phone saying there is a leak detected in branch 1. And this is how. Next we will be turning on the taps in the branch 2. Now both 1 and 2 show difference in reading, so the message will be leak is detected in both branch 1 and branch 2 as shown. And now the leak is only in branch 2 of the network, so we can see the difference in readings there. So the message that we get is leak detected in branch 2. We have interfaced the Arduino with MATLAB. The first one shows the leak in branch 1, the second one shows the leak in branch 2 and the third one shows if there is any kind of mixing in the branches. So the readings, the error shown here is 0. In all the branches we can see here it is 0. Now we will uh, simulate leak in branch 1. Now we can see that the flow meter readings in the master and slave changes. So does the error here. Now we will turn off the leak. So now the gra graph will return to the original value. It comes back to the same reading and the error drops to zero. Now we will be simulating leaks in branch 2.
here we can see the flow meter readings differ and the error starts to rise in times 2 and now we will be turning it off the error will drop back to 0 The master and slave's flow meter readings are almost same and we can see here the error has dropped to zero.